Oh boy, we're about to do it. Pull up rig. Jim Matt's officially in the backyard. This was a huge pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure my sisters hate me now because they helped me bring it. Boom. Matt's done. Contractor for the cement, done. Wall ball, 10 pound wall ball just came in, so done. Wedding on wall ball target and the wall ball or the actual rig. So, quick little update. All right guys, so not sure if I've shown this in the video yet. Wall ball targets. For the rig is here, I unboxed one. So I unboxed one of the wall ball targets so I could put it up and test it out to see if it's gonna fit again. The rig I ordered is not from Rogue, but I figured these are pretty universal in terms of like the bolt size, the sizes on these bad boys. So, so far so good, it fits short ways. So it came with two bolts. So one's this length to do it this way, obviously on the outsides. Uh, that's the target itself and then it came with these long bolts to have the option of doing it like that putting it on the inside half of the rig which is probably what I'm gonna have to do so this is one of the wall ball targets one's gonna be men's height one's gonna be women's height yeah from Titan Fitness the rig's supposed to be here in a couple days I'll keep you guys updated hopefully this fits on that bad boy because I wanted to at least make sure it fits something hopefully it fits because right whenever I get the rig I have to make sure that these fit onto the rig or else I got to return these within like 30 days so hopefully they fit I ordered two of them and now I do know why these bad boys are so expensive this thing is no joke this is sturdy metal this is sturdy sturdy metal too so um cold silly morning today so early morning cardio weather here has been super bipolar super hot one day now it's like 50 it's super cold turn on the trusty little heater gonna knock out some morning cardio buddy kpz coming over to the house he's gonna get a lift in just you know to open up the little home gym to someone who you know does not have a gym membership right now and wants to lift so all right guys the rig is officially here gotta go unload it inside. Alright guys, this is what it's looking like right now, just so you guys have an idea. This thing's empty. I uh, basically took it all out, but I had no idea that they don't even bring it into your house or help you do any of that. Literally just unloaded it and left. And it was super heavy, but this is what it looks like. Next to the process, I have 72 hours to scroll through this, make sure I have everything, report any damages, things like that. So I'm actually going on a trip tomorrow. I still got to work out right now. It's currently like 4 o'clock p.m. Friday, I'm going on a trip 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I have until Monday, like 5 o'clock p.m. to make sure I have everything. But it looks like I do. All right, guys, so had a little package from Virus that came in also. So my current favorite shirt right now at the moment is the long sleeve scoop shirt by Virus International. So I got a black one here 
and I got a white one here, and then I have the hoodie version in blue as well. So I pretty much have every color just because I absolutely love this shirt. This is my favorite shirt right now. Even during the hot months, super fitted, roll it up. Fits you really well, nice and fitted, scoop at the bottom, and also just super breathable. If you get super sweaty in this, not a problem. Doesn't get super sticky, itchy, uncomfortable. And yeah, it looks super sick, so I had to get all the colors basically. So quick little update on the rig. I just tried to attach the wall ball targets from Titan Fitness, and unfortunately the hardware that came with them didn't fit, so I ran to Home Depot, got some hardware that did fit tested it make sure it was nice and sturdy wasn't gonna fall good to go there so i don't have to return the wall ball targets and get different ones but i did try my rogue dip bar matador dip bar it didn't fit this rig unfortunately but i didn't realize that the rig came with two regular monkey bar pull-up bars so i'm exchanging one of the bars one of the pull-up bars because i ordered like a third one on accident with my order so i'm exchanging one of the bars getting a dip bar that fits this rig hopefully because dips are always in the programming and that doing them outside is going to be sick so yeah quick little update all right guys so having some second thoughts i'm gonna make this into a whole series because there's gonna be a lot of moving parts and then the next few days just kind of going through a lot lots on my mind a lot of want to talk to you guys about but after that last clip you guys saw i went and worked out finally honestly the motivation was there because i have a new shirt new shirts to work out in so if you're like having trouble finding motivation to work out, get yourself some new clothes. Even if they don't fit you, just like, you know, like for when you get to that shape, you can wear them. They'll always be there to motivate you. But for me, I was pumped to just wear these new workout clothes. Got the workout in, dues paid, end of a training week, end of a training block. So next week I'm going into week five of my next training block. Literally got back, had some oatmeal post-workout oats. You guys know the drill, you guys have already seen it. Scoop of protein and I cooked up my dinner, which is like almost a pound worth of meat. It's 10 ounces of ground beef, five ounces of ground turkey. I'm gonna have two high fiber tortillas, make these little tacos. It's currently 10.30. Um, so I'm super behind on meals. My first meal is like at 3.34 p.m. today. And I wanted to talk to you guys and document it because a lot of my clients actually have this issue or, or they've been having issues where they kind of just eat super late in the day and then it's super hard to get the food in, even though we are on cutting calories it's a lot less but it is hard because you still have a lot of food to get in, in a very short amount of time but i'm doing my best guys so if you're ever in this situation just chip away slowly but surely try to minimize the water i've been drinking water throughout the day so i'm going to cut back also because it's bedtime but i'm going to make sure i make these or i get this food in because it's games guys and tomorrow we got a very early morning very early trip my little sister's graduating college she's a mastermind behind my instagram and all that stuff um, so we're gonna go see that, but that's basically the last you guys are gonna see of this Setup here for the weekend. I'm gonna bring you guys along I'm gonna take my GoPro and document that just little clips here But that's gonna go ahead and do it for today, man The rig finally came in went and got a little thing for the backyard. So It's like this bamboo looking stuff Which is gonna look super sick. I'm gonna show you guys the plans on the iPad So let me just show you guys the freaking plans one of the things that I learned from the uh, original garage gym setup was just you have something in your head and then you actually like draw it out or sketch it out and it looks like crap. But then you uh, you make it into like a better sketch and like a rough sketch and then like it looks sick on paper. And then you go and do it and it looks just like the thing you did. And that was one of the awesome, most like coolest things that blew my mind and that's what we have here. So this is the uh, plan for this setup so we got some fake ivy leaves bamboo stuff the white's gonna be all mats so this is gonna be turf a little sled going sled pushes a little green ivy bamboo green ivy bamboo the views out there watching this go from that to like real life and something awesome and tangible is gonna be so awesome and i just want to bring you guys along the journey um because honestly guys i want to see this stuff i'm super interested in this i like nerd out geek out over this stuff and no one's doing it so i figured might as well make and do what i want to watch and see because no one else has done it so that's gonna go ahead and do it for today guys thanks for coming along all right guys last and final meal going down we got the meat got a little bit of feta cheese pepperoncinis we got lemon sorry there's someone sleeping so i gotta be quiet and you bet your ass we got some homemade salsa because we're mexicans okay mexicans gonna dig in grub
night, super long day. Let's go to bed. Alright guys, next day now, made it to the cabin where we're staying. We're literally an hour away from like wherever the graduation's gonna be, but check out the view out here. The view's sick. Let's go. There it goes. The view is freaking sweet. I was gonna show you guys the virus strip. Let me show you the virus strip real quick. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can see the whole outfit but we got the virus um, eco thread long sleeve in white the one you guys saw yesterday you guys saw the gray you guys saw the black we got the black we got the white and then I'm wearing the virus zero jogger so you guys can tell a bunch of detailing down the side on the cuff it just looks super sick so code shots g10 10% off guys virus drip that's gonna be my lounge wear. that's what I rode here in Two hour drive, comfortable, nice and breathable. Yeah guys, time to go get changed, go to this graduation. Just wanted to give you guys an update. I did just have a meal. I had like four pieces of turkey bacon and three whole legs. Low carb again. Gonna try and stick to as low carb as possible. Still try to stick to my macros. We are cutting, so that's the goal here. Let's go. All right guys, good morning. Not a very bad view to wake up to, um, especially on a Sunday morning after a long week, long couple days, sleepless days. Finally managed to get some sleep last night. Not the best, but still, it was good and feeling good today. Cold shower will wake you right up. The past week and few days, last month honestly, have led me to conclude that I need a mattress pad, a cooling one. Because just I woke up last night throughout the night hot and couldn't really fall asleep again and all these things and I've heard that those things work wonders so I need to get a cooling pad because your boy is constantly hot at night. But right now I'm actually kind of chilly. It's kind of chilly out here guys. I got the virus mammoth hoodie, puffer down jacket. Love it guys, this thing's sick. Wearing some joggers, cargo joggers, scoop tea, Converse. I don't like Converse, I just like these, the Jack Purcells. They don't really look like Converse, but I enjoy this morning view. Take it in, relax. Yeah.